That's uh, Shaquille Forbes at 7.20 in Trinidad and Tobago, the winner. Well, they finished top in the semi-finals of the Panorama competition. And from what we understand, both the preliminaries and the semi-finals were pretty intense. And now it's down to the final of this year's Panorama competition. Ten panelists representing five countries, the United States, France, Belize, Grenada and Trinidad and Tobago, will vie for the grand prize come Sunday, that's June the 12th. We'll be joined now by Nevin Root, who is the CEO and founder of Panorama Entertainment. He's with us via Zoom to give us uh, more information leading up uh, to the finals. Uh, Nevin, thanks very much for taking the time uh, once again. Just so we can make sure we get all the information out immediately, what time is the finals and how can people follow it? Uh, right, so the finals will take place this Sunday, June 12th at 8 p.m. And it will stream on youtube.com slash panorama. Uh, we start, we take time very seriously. So we're going to start bang on at 8 p.m., 10 panels, five countries. We're also going to have guest performance by Neptune's Rhythm Section out of Trinidad and Tobago. And we intend to feature a, a, a young and upcoming songstress, Drea, out of Barbados. Uh, just tease her lovely voice. And how has this competition grown over the last couple of years? Because, of course, with the pandemic and so on, with, with, with all of the different challenges about having live e events and so on, how has this uh, competition, the panorama, developed? Uh, it has grown um, exponentially um, quite beyond my expectation. Um, in 2021, we actually debuted on television here in Barbados. And in 2022, this year, we were able to secure an international television deal that would see Panorama air throughout the Caribbean, in the US and in Canada. Um, additionally, we were able to establish a professional relationship with uh, the UE Carimac, that's the Caribbean Institute of Media and Communication. Uh, and what we do there, we for internships to students. We provide professional training with industry um, professionals. Uh, we provide opportunity for these students to build their portfolios, you know, give them uh, guidance as it relates to the do's and don'ts in the workplace. They get an all around um, a very fulfilling experience with us. And then we send them back, you know, to the, the campus and, you know, they can take away whatever they have learned from us into their professional endeavors. Well, uh, the, the, the beauty of the technology is, is obvious right in our interview because you're in Barbados talking about an event which has competitors and we just saw some of the footage of the representative from France uh, with, with, with the French flag there. So, uh, as far as the, the event itself, tell us about a bit about the, the standard of competition. Well, uh, the standard has been very high and, and what we continue to see is um, uh, the panis take a keen they make a very great effort in, in presenting themselves. So for instance, in the semifinals, we had uh, someone who paid tribute to, to the late Blacks. May he continue to rest in peace. And he was fully outfitted in, in, in Hulk garbs. He was painted his face green. Um, so, so the entertainment of that presentation comes out really strong. Um, and the music as well, because the bulk of the marks is allocated to the music. So they take the time to, to really prepare and, and bring their A game to the virtual panorama stage so we're talking about 10 finalists from 8 p.m come sunday is there is there a time limit for each performance yes um well each panelist is required to perform for a minimum of three minutes and a maximum of four minutes and 30 seconds and they each get to choose from any genre of music any tune the only thing that we ask is that they avoid tunes that promote explicit sexual behavior uh of violence we try to keep away of from that negativity and yeah, they basically have free reign they have to arrange their tune they perform to a backing track and they are going to be judged by the likes of professor liam teague uh dr mia gormandy benjamin and victor provost we also have mr oj richards on standby as well as as well as andy chichester out of grenada so it, it sounds like a pretty neat, tight package because if it's a maximum four and a half minutes per performance for 10 performers within 45 minutes, it's almost seamlessly. How long does the entire show run from eight o'clock come Sunday night? We, we should run about uh, one hour and 30 minutes to an hour and 45 minutes. We, for the finals, we don't go past two hours max. Um, and what we, we always try to bring something extra, hence the guest performance. And we try to feature uh, those young, upcoming professionals and, and, and entrepreneurs as well. Because Javin Neptune, he, he runs his own uh, drum school. Uh, you can check him out on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and we, 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 we want to provide those opportunities for youth coming through. You know, we, we 
try to stay clear of, of the, the already established professionals who it's easy for them to get gigs and, and these talented youths coming through, you know, we need to expose them uh, and give them the opportunities. That's what the, the platform is really for. And as far as the, 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 the performances and, and, and the repertoire itself and, and, and the growth of, of the competition, um, I, 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 what's, what's in store? What, what, what plans do you have in future beyond the competition which comes to an end on, on Sunday night? Well, uh, planning has already begun in a sense for next year. And what we are hoping is that we can bring Panorama as a landed physical event. Um, I'm hoping to, to, to bring that to Tobago. I would be very excited once everything goes to plan, once we have the right financial support and other support as well, you know, we can do that because as we can see, the world is, is basically open and again. Um, travel has been, travel restrictions has, has been eased um, and we can now have physical events um, almost freely. Um, so Panorama definitely has to become a landed event in some way and we are going to be working assiduously uh, to make that happen. Um, um, and we, we we will continue to expand our developmental offerings you know the knowledge for success series where we host musical development workshops um uh, personal and professional development workshops we want to expand on those and offer more workshops in in different areas subject areas and we also hope to to expand on the internship offerings because you know many times these youngsters they are fresh out of school and they apply for a job they don't have any experience that's one of the first things the, 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 the employers ask for. So we hope to provide that experience before they even get to the stage of graduating. So they come ready to work and, and to earn money as they progress through their professional careers. You mentioned the, the judges. Will the, the winners be announced on the night itself? Yes, definitely. The winners are going to be announced on Sunday night. So you don't want to miss it. The panelists have been, you know, engaging me about their plans and it's going to be an amazing night come Sunday. And because it's such a tight, compact show, if and when it does happen that the panorama can go out and into the real world and, and be in an actual live audience, does, does this experience tell you uh, that, that maybe more for actual live shows should be neat and compact as well. Of course, there will be a bit of expansion, but I think many of us have gotten a little bit tired of, of the shows that last five, six, seven, eight hours and go before just before sunrise the next day. Uh, is this experience teaching you about how into having to cope with when you can actually go out in the real world and stage an event? Well, yes, it, it definitely does. And I, I think there are both pros and cons when you have a tightly packed show. Um, so, for instance, if we if we look at, at something that is a bit more long winded, there are opportunities for persons to come and go as they please. Right. Whereas with a compact show and, and when it's live and physically live at that, if you are not able to make that eight to nine or eight to ten slot, then you're going to miss the entire event. Right. So I believe, yes, there while there are lessons to learn, I think um, having the both options available, there are pros and cons to that. And, you know, I always look at the benefits. Um, but when Panorama is finished, it's definitely going to be accessible and viewable on the same YouTube channel. Absolutely. So let's, uh, as, as we go, Nevin Roach, uh, and thanks very much for taking the time uh, to, to give us the advance information ahead of the grand finals. 8 p.m. come Sunday. Uh, just remind us again how people can follow the event. Yes, so definitely you subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash panorama. And if you don't want to wait, if you want to get the information directly at your fingertips, please subscribe, join our mailing list at pano dash grammar that's p-e-n-o dash g-r-a-m-a dot com join our mailing list and we would send those links directly to your mobile and other devices barbadian based uh, nevin roach continuing to promote the national instrument of trinidad and tobago via the panorama competition the finals coming up on a sunday again at 8 p.m and is going to be available on uh, their youtube channel as well thanks very much uh, nevin uh, for taking the time to be with us this morning Thanks for having me. You're more than welcome. 7.29, approaching 7.30 in Trinidad and Tobago. Let's take a break at the bottom of the hour with a sunset from Gailey Sanka of a new brand. You will see very interesting colours depending at how much longer after the sun has gone down beyond the horizon and how much of the cloud cover there will still be around as we go to the break.